Thirty minutes later. Oh, <laughs> hey, Harry. Hey, man. Is your dad home? No, he went to work a bit ago. Come in, I. Delilah, is he here yet? Who is that? Uh, no one. Just give me a second. Hello, Delilah. I fell. Then get up. Lunatic. I'm afraid I'm too lazy. Come on, Springtrap, this isn't a game. You need to hide before Harry sees you. But I wanted to gaze upon my magnificence. Springtrap, get up or I'll drag you out. Bills, I'm a seven-foot robot made out of metal. I'd like to see you try. Ugh, come on, Springtrap, you're being such a jerk! Keep it up and you might move me a couple inches. Ugh! But I'm not gonna bail on Harry! When he decides to be difficult, you can't win with Springtrap. Sometimes it's better to just give him what he wants than fight, so... I guess I'll have to let him meet you. Great! Shut up. Alright, I'm going to open this door, introduce Harry to you, and everything is gonna be just fine, and then we can just move on. Now that's the spirit. Hey, Harry! Uh... So there's someone I'd like you to meet. Um, okay. Who? It's Springtrap! Hi, it's me. Uh, Delilah? Why is there a creepy man in a bunny costume inside your house? Five minutes later. So you're telling me that you're a sentient animatronic from an infamous pizzeria place where children were murdered? That's it. No. There were rumors those robots were possessed by the dead kids. Are you a dead kid? Uh, Harry? Springtrap doesn't like questions. Delilah, man, you can't be a living bunny robot and expect not to be asked a couple things. Besides, if he really hasn't answered any questions, I think he's hiding something there. We shouldn't trust him, Delilah. No. <laughs> Come on, why would I be hiding anything? Why does my past even matter to you? Springtrap! Right, Delilah? You trust me, right? Ugh, Springtrap, I'm not dealing with this anymore! If you want to act like this, then that's your own fault. But me and Harry don't have to deal with you. I wouldn't try and annoy Springtrap like that. He's not... He's not a teddy bear when he's angry. What? I just said things. Just be careful. I don't want you hurt. Oh, yeah? Has he ever hurt you? He has. 
Look, it was only once, and it was all my fault. We had known each other for a few weeks by then, and I was asking too many questions. I just really want to know, are you possessed? How are you alive? The violence stop. Don't make me say it again. Aw, oh, come on, just tell me. It can't be so bad. Delilah, I mean it. Stop it. You're gonna get hurt. What? I'm not afraid of you, buddy. Are you scared I'm gonna find out you murdered someone, or- I said stop! You will learn to listen to me, or else understand- Please, stop! You're crushing my arm! Please! You listen, and shut up next time! I will, I will! Just please let me go! I I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it really was all my fault. I should have just stopped. I was pushing his buttons. It was wrong and dumb of me. Besides, he apologized a lot afterwards, so... Delilah, are you listening to yourself? Dude, I don't care how annoying you were. Sh he shouldn't have hurt you. Hey, you know what? How about you come over and hang out with me sometime? Play video games in my room, or bike over to the park. You know, whatever you want, man. R really Yes, of course, really. Need some time away from Springtrap anyway. Can't be normal or healthy, you know, for a girl to befriend a creepy old living rabbit costume. I mean, I know he's your friend and all, but really, you should be hanging out with other kids. I mean, if you want. Well, I guess you're right, Harry. I'd really, really love to, um, hang out with you more, anyway. <laughs> and if that means sacrificing some time with Springtrap, then he'll just have to deal. So, video games. What do you have at your place? Oh, I have some shooter games that I thought we could play. Like, if you want. Sounds like a blast! Oh, hello! Are you leaving now? I was just coming to check up on you. <laughs> what a total coincidence. Where are you going? Me and Harry were going over to his house to play video games. Oh, really now? Well, I hope you have fun. Uh, I need to talk to Harry for a moment. Alone. You go wait outside for a moment, all right? Uh, okay. Just don't cause any trouble, okay, Springtrap? I wouldn't dream of it. Now that she's out of the way, it's time to teach you a lesson. What do you mean? I think you should know exactly who I am and what I'm capable of before you do anything more stupid than what you just did. You know about the Freddy Fazbear murders, don't you? You heard how those poor kids were killed and trapped in those animatronic suits. You... you're... one of them, aren't you? No, Harry. I'm the one who killed them. And believe me, I'm not above killing another. But today's your lucky day, it seems. Delilah would be pretty upset with me if I killed you now. Otherwise, I would love to end you right here. But, let me tell you something. You might as well just say goodbye to Delilah. All she'll never be and want is me. She adores me. We are never apart. That's, like, really creepy. So you're going to leave now. Right now. Because if you dare come back for her, I'll kill you. Don't you ever think I'm a puppet? Oh, I'm not afraid of you. I'll tell Delilah who you really are. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. Besides, she wouldn't believe you anyway. You have no proof I said any of this. Oh, really? Because I've just recorded our entire conversation on my phone. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Undeniable proof that her best friend is an evil serial killer who is also a major possessive creep. Delilah will hate me forever. You're going to pay for that, you little Whoa there. I wouldn't even try and touch me or my phone, buddy. Dude, I'll scream so loud Delilah will come running and the neighbors will call the cops. And if Delilah sees me hurt or my phone broken, she'll be bound to demand an explanation. And in that case, who do you think she'll believe? Don't you dare show her that recording. Hey, don't worry. 
I'm not looking to cause any trouble, unlike you. Really, all I want is for you to not hurt Delilah. If you can leave us alone and you're not dangerous, I won't show her. I would never hurt her. Oh, come on, man. Let's be real with ourselves here. You're a creepy old serial killer. Of course you're going to hurt her. Intentionally or not. It's only a matter of time. Ready to go, Delilah? Uh-huh. I promise you, big dork. You don't even have to worry about it. Trust me, I'll be back before you know it. I never abandon you like this on such short notice. I know how much you hate being alone. Oh, well, that's such a relief to hear. Thank you, Delilah. Be safe. I will. I promise. 12 p.m. 4 p.m. 9 p.m. 
Encryption of the mind There's nowhere you can hide Something here is lurking Something here is searching for me What does it want? Why does it wait? Is William Afton dead? Or risen from the grave? Just try not to die The tapes are where you can confide Something here is listening Something wants to speak to me Glowing, showing an evil side within A mind unknowing The show must begin The more I code this game he grows No one knows why he shows The masked man in rabbit clothes AI that flows within shadows He won't go away It's a game we're forced to play Stuck here all night and day Encryption of the mind There's nowhere you can hide Something here is lurking Something here is searching for me What does it want? Why does it wait? Is William Afton dead or risen from the grave? Just try not to die The tapes are where you can confide Something here is listening Something wants to speak to me Glowing, showing an evil side within A mind unknowing The show must begin Nowhere you can hide Something here is lurking Something here is searching for me What does it want? Why does it wait? Is William Afton dead Or risen from the grave?
was afraid I believed in all their lies I believed that I was safe And that I would never die Thank <laughs> you. 